So it's been about two years since I've made a support squad video. And that is because my goal is always to make my videos as short and concise as possible. And in the past, I noticed that repeating myself every video to tell people to like, subscribe and ring the bell and support on Patreon and follow me on Twitter just felt really annoying for me to say and convinced me that it was probably really annoying for you to hear. So I decided to stop doing it because it just made the videos longer for no reason and added really no meaningful value to the content. So instead, I just make videos like this once every now and then as a friendly reminder. But this time is a bit different because now that we have a Discord, I've gone ahead and updated a lot of the perks and a lot has changed. As you know, I'm going all in now and it really feels like we're going somewhere new as a community because in addition to Discord, I've also started adding things like live streams. So I went ahead and updated the artwork to reflect that new spirit. Welcome to the RSS, aka the Royal Support Squad, which is primarily a group of incredible volunteers volunteers that provides the firepower to keep this channel protected and fund our vision of saving people time. Our mortal enemy is wasted time, and together we seek and destroy confusing topics that waste people's time around the world. That is what we do. We may not be the newest, or most cutting edge, or prettiest group around, but we get the job done. And at the end of the day, that's really what I believe matters. In my mind, whenever I refer to the support squad, this has always been how I see you guys in my head. So I hope you guys like the new look. Now, let's talk about tiers and perks, because even though a lot of the stuff is the same, a lot of stuff has also changed. And I've added some new stuff to the perks since now we have a Discord. Something cool the Discord now lets me do is give different members different levels of voting power based on their tier. And that's something we'll be utilizing very often here to decide things on the channel. And real quick, the tiers for the YouTube members and the Patreons is exactly the same. The only difference is if you're a YouTube member, YouTube gives you these cool badges that evolve the longer you've been a member. I think the longest people here have been members for about two years, but every couple months your badge changes and it looks cool next to your name in the comments. In tier one, you become a bishop, which means you have access to the bishop backroom on Discord, which is where most of the behind the scenes stuff takes place. Every month in the backgrounds, I release a mission debrief showing all the things that we've accomplished and a new mission briefing showing all the things we're going to aim to accomplish in the next month. Also, bishops have twice the voting power of a normal user, so when we have community polls on things that you'd like to see in the future in the main Discord chat, your voice will have more weight to it than normal. Also, once you're a bishop, your name goes into the credits of the next project. Credits can always be found in the main menu of all my games. They were in my reactor game, the macrophage game, and after we finish our first project in Unreal 5, everyone in the bishop tier will be able to find their name in the front menu. So that's all the stuff you get in tier 1. In tier 2, you become a king. Kings get everything that bishops have, but in addition, you have four times the voting power instead of two, which gives you substantially more push when it comes to the outcome of polls. But the main thing that kings get is real-time updates. I do a lot of stuff in between videos. Sometimes it's character creation, sometimes it's texturing, and sometimes it's just preparing stuff for the next video. And usually, if I don't complete a video that day, I'll upload a screenshot of whatever I got and post it for the kings to see on Discord. Also, if you're a king, your name will appear higher in the credits of every project. Sovereigns get all the stuff from the previous tiers, but their vote carries five times the normal amount of voting power. And they have access to a special secret room where I invite people to help me figure things out that we don't know that we want to know. For example, right now and probably for the next few months, I'm going to try my best to learn blueprints. Now, I don't know anything about blueprints, really. I'm learning that as I go. I do my best to figure out as much as I can on my own, but when I'm stuck, I'll be in this room with smarter people than me working to try and get things solved. For those of you who have blueprint experience that I have already contacted, I just want you to know that I still haven't gotten around to inviting everybody yet because I just opened the Discord yesterday, but if you have messaged me about helping with blueprints, I should have all the invites sent in the next three days. This secret room is also where I post full video footage of cool stuff that I work on that doesn't really qualify to be a tutorial. So if I sculpt, texture, program a character, or have like a recording that's not really something that makes sense to make a video out of, but still kind of cool, that's the kind of stuff that I'm going to start getting into the habit of posting here more often on Discord. Sovereigns also get access to the original image files of whatever cool stuff I generate from AI software. I love testing out new ideas for image concepts when working on stuff, and if you ever see a picture and you're like, man, that looks really cool, I wish I could have the image, 
message. If you're a sovereign, you can just send me a message on Patreon or Discord, and I'll send it to you when I get the chance. And lastly, sovereign tier members get priority messaging. I try my best to stay on top of all the DMs and stuff I get on Patreon and Discord, but at the end of the day, there's really just not enough time anymore. So I start with the messages I receive from the people in the sovereign tier, and I work my way down from there. So if you're in this tier, just know that I usually read your messages first. And there also is a mirror to the Sovereign tier on Discord. It's called the Moderator Savior, and they get all the exact same perks as a Sovereign. The only difference is the support on Discord goes directly to buying lunch for the one volunteer moderator that I have who currently reports directly to me. They're a good friend of mine from college. I looked up the average salary for a Discord moderator, and apparently it's like 60k a year, which is more than six times what I make. So that was not possible but i told my moderator hey like whatever we do make from the discord you know that'll go directly to you so that at least maybe you know you can buy yourself some lunch and dinner to compensate you for all the time and effort that you're going to be putting into the discord so if you want to help the discord directly then maybe be a moderator savior i'm sure the one mod we have would really appreciate that and in tier four you become a founder now founders are literally the backbone of the channel in the early days when the channel was much smaller and i had almost nobody on patreon there were two founder members that single-handedly pulled the weight of a hundred bishops. And because they were there, Patreon became a substantial enough safety net that carried the channel when the YouTube algorithm really worked against us. And that happens a lot because of the nature of the videos we make. And I mean that literally because YouTube goes out of its way to reward channels that have videos with high viewer retention. So the more time people watch your video, the more it promotes you. My channel literally does the opposite. My goal is for you to spend as little time on my channel as possible, give you the answer you need immediately, so you can go back to kicking ass in your project. So YouTube generally doesn't really like my channel because if I do my job correctly, then the viewer leaves YouTube and goes back to work. And that's not what YouTube wants, which is why founders are so important, you know, because the algorithm kind of guarantees our channel will really never be promoted. So founders get all the previously mentioned perks and 10 times the normal voting power. They also get exclusive commercial access to everything I put on my store. After five months of being a founder, anything you see on my store, once per month, you can just message me and be like, hey, I could really use this for my project and I'll send it to you. This also includes the cool things that we make in Unreal 5 as we start to learn more and more about blueprints. So the stuff that I plan to develop like missiles, radar, targeting systems, animation controllers, cutscenes, camera shakes, all that cool stuff over the next few months when I put on the shop. And if you think it's useful for you, just just ask and I'll send it to you. So that is how all the tiers work. If you'd like to join the squad, I'll leave a link for it in the pinned comment. Otherwise, if you can't, no worries. I completely understand. I'm honestly just glad to have you here enjoying the show and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.